This is Miss Emily from MotionTutor.com and this is going to be some addition number stories or you can call them addition word problems for first graders. Be sure to visit MotionTutor.com to see other videos and other lessons and games and activities that relate to them. Now let's get to this lesson. Addition word problems or number stories. Some people call them word problems, some people call them number stories. I'll read it for you. Bob has two apples. His mom gives him one more. Apple. How many does Bob have now? So here's Bob with his two apples. And here comes his mom with the one more apple. So now, let me get the mom out of here. We can clearly see how many apples Bob has now. One, two, three. So his two apples plus her one that she gave him is equal to three. So let's move Bob over here to the side. And let's look at the number bond that is illustrating what just happened. See? This two represents the two apples that Bob had. And together with the one that his mom brought in, see that both of them together combine to make three. So the two plus the one is equal to three. Alice has three teddy bears. Her friend Jimmy gave her two more teddy bears. How many teddies does Alice have? So let's look at Alice. It said she has three teddy bears. One, two, three. And her friend Jimmy, he gave two more. So, how much does Alice have? Let's see. Here's the one, two, three, four, five. So now, Alice, she has five teddies. And let's look at the number bond that represent that. Here's the three. Here's the two. Remember that here's the three that she originally had. And here's the two that her friend Jimmy gave. And together, they combine to five. Let's look at this final example. Seven cars are in the parking lot. Three more cars enter the parking lot and parked. How many cars are in the parking lot? So we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. So there's seven cars in this parking lot. And three more will be added. There you go, one, two, and three. So how many cars total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's look at that number bond. As we can see, here's the seven, together with the three that came in, and together they're equal to ten. 7 plus a 3 is equal to 10. That's all for now.
Be sure to visit motiontutor.com for more video lessons, games, and activities that relate to the videos. That's all for now. Bye!